Um, and so when he comes at you with that Huntress group, what you can do um, is just, yeah, make sure you have full moon, moon wells, make sure you've been pumping archers the whole time and that they're in your, in your, you know, a defensive position in your base. Make sure, um, if you want to, if you want to be total, you don't necessarily need that second of ancient war, but I like to do it just for extra security. Um, if, if a tower rush does happen, you can just pump archers out of two ancients of war, and that's a really great way to fight a tower rush. Um, and, uh, um, and then uh, for one last bit of security, you can put an Ancient Protector up in your base. If you put an Ancient Protector up, it, it all of a sudden becomes very, very difficult for him to Tower Rush you. Um, you can see I'm trying to bring my second Ancient War back to my base to help out. He's, uh, he's caught it while it's going, so I'm going to lose it. Um, this obviously isn't optimal, but it's also not the end of the world. You'll also notice that I went Panda second. Now, um, a lot of players go Beastmaster second um, to fight off Huntress pushes, but I've one thing that I've diagnosed about this game is I have a good number of archers, I have a Protector up, I have an Ancient of War on my base, I have a good base build, I have some Dryads coming out. All these things are really great against Huntresses, and it's going to make it very, very hard um, for him to do a push on my base. Now, the Beastmaster is good against Tower Rushes, but is less good late game. Um, you know, for example, if the player tries to expand um, and... Uh, and mass up, uh, and really mass up those tier one units. Uh, I prefer to have a level three panda over a level three beast, a level three beast master. Um, and so, and so I went panda um, because I figured it wouldn't it wouldn't lose me the game. You know, I I didn't need that level one beast master to fight any kind of a um, any kind of a push, and it was worth going panda, um, which is a overall a stronger detriment to him making tier one. Uh, you know, a level three panda is really going to make it very very difficult for him to. Um, for him to mass tier one against me, um, and I and I'm guessing that I'll be able to get level three on at this game uh, because I had a strong early game. Now at this point, I've noticed that he's gotten a Dark Ranger second, so he started his tech, um, and and I know that he's backed off on the push, so I can pretty much ex pretty much expect that he's starting up an expansion somewhere. Um, and so uh, the what the my my answer to this um, instead of massing more archers and and dryads, um, as soon as I realized that I was safe from the uh, from the Ancient Protector push that I, that wasn't going to happen this game, um, I immediately put down my second Ancient of Lore and started attacking the Tier 3. Um, a big army of Archers and Dryads um, is okay against what he's doing, um, but he's going to... Uh, He's going to end up with, um, you know, he still has a good number of Huntresses. He has a Dark Ranger second, which is going to be really nasty versus my Archers. Um, and... What I really want um, is uh, tier three. I really want bears. Um, I really want you know an orb on my demon hunter, uh, and that's going to be that's going to be much stronger against him because once you have bears, you're the per you have the durable army, and with multiple heroes and bears, you can staff bears away, keep your army alive while doing a lot of damage to him, um, and uh, and you also have rejuvenation for the period of time that he uh, he doesn't have um, dryads. Um, so, at this point, uh, right now, I'm on my way to Bears. I know I can't fight him. Uh, you know, if you look at his army, it'll probably beat mine one-on-one -on -one right now. That's a lot of Huntresses. He'll be able to make quick work of my Archers and have a lot of Skeletons. Um, so I'm creeping to match his creeping. You know, I cleared a little expansion just so I'd be able to counter-expand against him. Because um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that he's putting up an expansion right now. Um, and now, uh, I'm going to go ahead uh, and start moving towards his expansion. You know, it's important to creep up a panda. You can get uh, mercenaries from this camp and a pretty good, uh, pretty good item, so I figure I'd creep this on the way. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and move towards his expansion um, in the hopes that I catch it constructing, um, and I'll be able to, uh, to do some damage to it, even though I know I have the weaker army right now. So at this point, I'm, I'm just uh, sort of stalling for bears. Um, the, I'm not going to really fight him until I have my bear army out, but in the meantime, um, I want to do whatever damage to him I can, so I'm going to, so I, like I said, I clear an expansion so I can counter expand, and then I'm going to run to his expansion, um, to, uh, to do a little bit of damage to it before it goes up. Now, in this game, it might have been better for me to run straight to the expansion, um, instead of creeping that, because I would have caught it constructing, and I would have been able to kill this uh, constructing mine. I would have known that if I would have scouted better, by the way. That was uh, I should have I should have had a wisp on his expansion. Um, so you'll notice that as soon as I see him coming, I start my town portal. You know, I have a, obviously a very weak army, um, and I don't want to lose you know my whole army there. So I just put a little bit of pressure on him and TP out. And then I saw that he was making dryads, um, and so this is what'll happen a lot of the time. Is your your opponent? Um, 
will counter your second hero um, and uh, and sort of get a more durable late game army by massing dryads. So whether you're Beastmaster or Panda, um, you know they're gonna they're gonna make dryads, uh, which will be very good against that second hero. And uh, and they're also um, Master Eyes is also just a stronger army late game, and with an expansion, it can it can beat bears. And so you know now I'm sort of now I'm sort of working against the clock. I know he has his expansion up, um, and I know that I'm gonna either have to answer it with my own expansion or uh, or you know win a fight to be in a good position this game. And so you'll notice I've just gotten tier three. Um, I've uh, I've stayed at 50 food for the moment, just so that I would have enough gold for all my needs. I picked up um, a uh, an orb of venom on my demon hunter. Um, I still have that expansion clear, so I can set one up as soon as I need to. Um, and now, uh, what I'm going to do here is I've, I've noticed that I have a little bit of extra gold as I'm moving towards him, um, and I've and I've identified this coming fight as you know very critical. If he wins this fight convincingly, he's going to be in a strong position. I'm not going to be able to expand if he sees me expanding, um, and so I would have to sneak one in if I wanted to get back into the game, which is obviously very difficult to do. You can see him scouting my expansion spot right now. Um, and so uh, I need this fight to go to go pretty well, um, and so I, I've you know thrown all my resources into it. I've added a third hero. Um, Tinker is generally you know a pretty solid hero choice against dryads. Obviously, there's no hero that really counters dryads. That's the whole point of dryads. Um, but the factory at least does some damage. And so I'm going to back off here, get in better position. Um, you know I have a few bears, um, and he has obviously you know a pretty sizable army. Um, so my panda here, um, the breath of fire is obviously very good in this, very good in this fight. Um, I'd much prefer a panda to a beast master, so I can get a nice, you know, haze fire on those huntresses, which you saw me do. Um, you'll notice I'm sending my demon hunter immediately right after his heroes uh, with orb of venom. You know, puts a lot of pressure on him, um, and I put down, you know, a factory which is doing a good damage in this fight. Making sure to, you know, do a, you know, good use of breath of fire. Um, so my tinker, my tinker died right there, but I was okay with that. I'm using my my staff to save the bears. They're actually a larger priority than the tinker. The tinker is just level one; and it'll come right back. Um, but if I can save bears, um, I can uh, you know stay with a really big army right now. Um, and you'll notice that that fight worked out pretty well. Uh, the you know the tinker worked pretty well. The panda worked pretty well. He wasn't really be able he wasn't really able to kill my bears. Um, he went after my archers, which is fine. I um, you know that's sort of the natural thing to him for him to do, so we can get the skeletons. Um, but uh. But I was able to, uh, you know, do a lot of damage here, um, and of course my panda got level three during that fight, um, and level three breath, of, uh, level two breath of fire is uh, is really useful even if your opponent is master eyes. You know, I was able to kill all those wisps right there in one hit, and now his expansion is going down and my expansion is going up, um, and I have the tier three army. So this game isn't over yet, but um, all of a sudden I'm in much better position, especially after killing the expansion and getting that dark ranger kill. Um, and so now you'll notice he still has, you know, a very, uh, you know, a very sizable army. He still has, you know, still has a lot of dryads. I really only have a couple of bears. Um, and so uh, what I'm going to do here um, is I'm just going to do some damage to him, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, TP out before I lose uh, too much more. Um, but you'll notice that I saved my I saved my bears in that fight. Um, and I lost, you know, a couple dryads um, and all my archers. I don't really need my archers anyways. Um, I lost my tinker, which I can, you know, uh, when I, which I can um, get out again, you know, fairly quickly. Uh, the tinker, the tinker I picked up mainly just for that one fight, and it served me well. Um, but right now, you know, I'm just trying to get uh, get my bears back out and make sure that I have uh, staffs and everything else. But the tinker will be back out eventually. Um, but yeah, the, the, the goal here is just to make sure that you keep your bears alive. If you, um, if you do good staffing on your bears, uh, then like I said, the durability of your army pays off in the end. Now he did the smart thing here. After winning a fight, he ran straight to my expansion and canceled it. Um, so we're both, you know, we're both at one base. This game is, you know, isn't a